So we got the great human form that people don't see. Many people call it the matrix. And it is, it's a, it's, it's a prison that we cannot see because it's right there in front of us. And they're consolidating the plantation of America. And by that I mean, it's been 247 years or so since they started this plantation. And at first it was pretty much free range. I mean, they still had uh, colonies and they still had government, but a gro government was kind of awkward. It didn't have the manpower. It didn't have the transportation. It didn't have the time to be tyrannical. I mean, yes, there were tyrannical acts and, and the king's men shot people and hung people and that kind of thing. But pretty much it was it was a free market, you know. They they were going across the country <laughs> stealing the Indians land that they had already made claim to. But pretty much it was a free society. And to think that now two hundred and forty seven years later we have anything close to a free society. It's kind of strange. You hear the sirens going off. <laughs> yeah, we're in uh, in the city today. The little, as the human plantation is consolidated, because we were kind of free range back then. And now you can see the progression of, of control. Uh, used to be nobody would tell you uh, where you could build on your property, when you could build on your property, how big it had to be on your property, the codes that you have to build to, and you never had to ask permission. Now you have to ask permission for anything and everything that you do on your property. Are you really free? And then you look at the medical tyranny. Just over the last few years, them, uh, demanding that we obey, demanding that we get shots, demanding that we six foot distance, wear a mask, wear two. Are we really free or are we living on a plantation? You can see this war on farmers all over Europe. It's here in America, but it's hidden from you. I mean, there, there's such vast distances and all. We don't even think about that. We think about uh, going to the grocery store. We are not concerned about the farmer out there in the hinterland. Government's been trying to control farming for decades and decades, at least since FDR. And they're, you know, you pay you to keep um, Keep from planting anything, give you crop insurance, all kinds of manipulations, rules and regulations to ensure that government has control over uh, the food sources. Add in the corporations and look at the corporations consolidating more and more and more power and lobbying the government for more regulation because they can afford regulation and the little guys can't. So you see this consolidation of power, of control of food, control of medicine. Look at the regulations in the medical field. It's incredible. Look at the regulations in business. You have to ask permission from the government to go into business. You have to steal from your customers on behalf of the government. Otherwise, they come after you. So they got you stealing from people. Look at the, look at the youth. They've got control of the young. For uh, uh, nearly 120 years now, they've been, the government has taken over the education of the young. Often say, you know, why would why would you why would you let Satan educate your kids? Well, it's not Satan; it's the government. I beg to differ. There is no difference. Satan is the father of all lies. He's a thief and a murderer, and you shall know him 
by their deeds. Ladies and gentlemen, the government is Satan. Satan rules all the nations of this world. It's a band of thieves under the delusion. It's do-gooders, good intention do-gooders, who are under the illusion that it's right to steal because that's the only way that you can have a civilized society is what they say. So <laughs> it's always been this way. Now, has it? Just like before, I said 247 y years ago, we had a lot of freedom. We don't anymore. But it's always been this way. Look at the police today and look at Mayberry. It's always been this way. I can't change anything. We can't change anything. Things are always changing. Things are never the same. We've been dumbed down to the point we don't care. And they know it. It used to be that they'd nudge you. You know, they'd nudge you this way and that way. That was Cass Sunstein who wrote that. It was uh, Obama era. They nudge you, nudge the herd. Can you say, Mrr. do you feel like a cow? Do you understand what they're doing? They're pushing the phone, destroying the farms in, uh, in favor of ultra-processed mega corporation food. Eat the bugs. Private property. Where do you own anything? To own is to control. Who controls the property? It's the state. You don't control, you just pay a lease, a ransom on that land each and every year. You have to have permission from the owner to build something. You have to ask permission, but they don't need to nudge anymore because the people have shown that they're going to be obedient little slaves to the system and do whatever they demand that you do. Now, sure, there'll be a little bit of whining and crying here and there on the outer edges and all, but for the most part, the herd's going to go into the channel, just like a cow. Can you say moo? Moo. When you're born, you get a birth certificate. When a calf is born, we put a tag in their ear. What's the difference? Really, what is the difference? The Social Security number. That follows you all through your life. That's the tag in the ear. They identify the cattle here and there. The state of South Carolina claims, what is it, three million cattle that are under their plantation? which is a subsidiary of the big corporate plantation of the United States of America. How does it feel to be chattel on a great plantation? And all the nations of this world are ruled by Satan, and they're all dirty. They're all rotten. Sorry about that. Uh, got a phone call from Josephine coming out of Walmart and we had <laughs> she couldn't find me so I had to go pick her up she doesn't like Walmart I'll put it that way uh, where was I though oh yeah about Satan ruling the world but all the countries are ruled by evil doers we all can see it we know it although here in the United States everybody claims even though that they can see the corruption, they can see the deception, they can see the taxes going crazy, the rules and regulations going crazy and all, they still believe that, that they're free. And they sing the song and they do the pledge and all. But really, the farm is going through a great reset. And it's a great reset of the way they manage the chattel. It's a technocracy, a rule by the experts. And it's in a form of a great transnational mega corporation that controls the government. And it's owned by a small group of criminal families 
who want to rule with an iron fist. I think there's enough of us on this planet. As a matter of fact, there's a lot too many of us on this planet. As Josephine says, they're trying to kill us all. Well, yeah. Yeah, about 500 million is all the slaves that they want to keep them in luxury. The rest will be done by computer or electric vehicles and AI and all that. This is the end of free range chattel and the rise of a prison planet. Are you going to follow along? We're all voluntarily walking into these cells. We do so by choice. Satan promises us safety and security. He promises equal justice under the law. But whose law? Many preachers, dare I say the vast majority of preachers, consider this government of, by, and for God. And every rule and regulation and tax should be obeyed. Romans 13, oh, Romans 13, don't you know? But I have to ask them to read the Declaration of Independence and tell me why. Why in the world would they write to overthrow a king? And yet, you think that we should obey, obey, no matter what. Where's the line? Where are you justified to quit rendering under Caesar and kick some butt to abolish or replace the government. That's what I want to know. How much is enough to have a civil society? And this is, and why didn't Jesus go into politics? If this is up by and for God himself, seemed like Jesus would have said, well, you know what? I'm going to be Caesar. But in each and every case, he was always running up against the powers that be. So it's something for us to think about. What is? Who is? They're really in charge. Does Satan rule the government? And do you obey everything he says? Something else to think about. Until next time. Peace. If a government claims a right, and then their claim is that they derive these rights from the people. Right. Well, how can people give a group rights that they don't themselves have? To steal from so, each other. Right. If we, yeah. if we can't yeah. tax people, like I can't tax you, yeah. where exactly does government derive this right from? It, it, and once you come to, you realize that the, the goal ought to be as voluntary a society as possible. Now, how exactly you achieve that, how far you can push that is debatable, but certainly that that should be the goal. That if government is providing a service for you, well then why does it need to be provided by force? 